Hello everybody, hello, 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 and welcome back to another episode of Stone Block 3. And today we're gonna have massive changes around all these areas. Yes, I'm gonna start actually making a good looking place. Huh? Who knew? Who knew? Who knew? I can actually try and do those things. Not saying I can, I can try. And the first thing that I'll be working on today is actually making a farm. Already I started to plant things, some things. I got bamboo, I got sugarcane, we got hemp, we got cabbage, we got tomatoes, we got beetroots, rice, carrots, wheat, and flax. And the way I'm gonna harvest these bad boys is gonna be using the mechanical harvesters from Create. And then we're gonna be using the portable storage interface to actually dump the things here. And hopefully everything goes smoothly. We now just need to power all of this. Uh, we're gonna power it from this side, so I probably need to clear out a little bit more space here for some water wheels and something. And then we'll have some storage over here. Hopefully some extra farms, because we do have a couple of extra things that we could farm that we're not farming right now. So let's get to work. Okay, I like this to think that I'm ready for test one, but this is already test two. Test one went horribly bad because those blocks were actually glued and they just destroyed everything. <laughs> so hopefully now this thing is fixed. The way I'm using this is I'm using the, the piston. This is one of, one of these pistons, the mechanical ones. It has like an extension pole and I'm telling it to go all the way to the end. And then, uh, have these redstone contacts they're controlling the way that the system goes and actually i kind of need to glue this one here exactly so when this thing is in contact with this one it's activating this thing which switches a lever here for the gear shift and when this thing goes all the way to the one in the end it will activate it will deactivate the gear shift and then this should go back this is how i think this should work and i th may have things inverted actually i probably need the gear shift off at first and then on to come back okay signals inverted and can it go yes it's going okay so far so good i'm wondering if it's gonna pick up all of the bamboo as well i'm not sure moment of truth it stops it doesn't break bamboo apparently uh or am i or am i one short no no it should have gone one extra uh i don't know why it stopped though well, it went all the way back and uh, as soon as it reached there, but I'm not sure why it stopped in the first place. Like, it shouldn't have stopped. And yeah, I kind of changed the position here or that, that one is, is badly positioned, so I got to change this one as well. Uh, but that's all right, because it was working. So it's only a matter of me just putting these things back together and I'm just grabbing the stone here and this one should in theory send it back and forth without even damaging the crops here um I have to replant those actually oh okay oh it has no inventory what am I doing what am I doing it has no inventory it can't save stuff oh god it's this chest Oh, I got, I got an extra one. Yeah, apparently bamboo needs to be cut. So, yeah, we can only do sugar cane here. We can't do bamboo. In this line, I'm just going to ignore it, basically. I'm going to remove it. And just put... Yeah, just put uh, some spruce in there. But it is working. Now, the collection system, of course, this is... <laughs> I don't think this is working right, right now. I uh, have to change it a little bit. But we have a farm. It's functional, it's not very fast, but it doesn't need to be very fast. It just needs to work, right? So it should pick up that rice over there. Perfect. Exactly what it's supposed to do. Now, I kind of want to get... Yeah, grab these. Because flax can be really good. 
because it's going to give us string some sacks and stuff like that that we can probably use for some machines later down the line and whatever we don't need we can always compost okay now that we have storage now done and dusted well we still need to farm bamboo and apparently these guys can't handle flax so i probably replace this with any other type of seed probably some magical seeds when i get some of those like from other mods but right now we have our mechanical crafters these bad boys are really really gonna come in handy and i'm thinking like maybe over here i can put it uh because and then I, it will automatically create a wall here for example so if i were to place it like this and i love how the game keeps giving me sticks even though they're just accumulating and i don't even need them amazing right and if you climb a little bit back up we have perfect we have the perfect amount which is this now of course we probably need to switch around some of these things and bring in some sort of power over onto here probably from that one yeah most likely from one of those so we can have power coming in through here so we can start producing things and we have to expand this way and now we have it it is now fully built and of course of course first things first right we gotta get our hands on some crushing wheels and the recipe is kind of simple if you get to this point now i just need to know is it just a regular cobblestone or does it need to actually be like cooked stone or something because it's not showing properly but i'm guessing it has to be cookstone it can't be cobble well we'll about we're about to find out and yeah it has to be cooked stone okay okay i made a couple crushing wheels i even have like a few more over here and i also set up this and you might be wondering well what's this well this is basically a small setup so i can haunt some things so i can wash some things and so i can cook some things not food because it will destroy food because it's lava uh but i can cook stone i can wash whatever well, anything i kind of need to wash i'm just testing it out with some sand over here and i can haunt for example lapis which is giving me prismarine and i kind of want to use prismarine for the design of my base as you guys can see i've been laying it out some things i don't know if i can pick this guy up if i can pick this guy up please let me know down below in the comments because i i kind of want to move him because <laughs> i placed him just to see how it works and i kind of want to move him now uh i can probably silk touch these guys as well so they don't get converted to the smaller version but that's all right that's all right and now i'm just gonna hide all of this setup in the cool wall and i kind of need to name these or I indicate what I, which one is which so i don't forget and after a quick live stream we already have this thing sorted and giving us a lot of goodies and we are now going with the full-on design of what i'm gonna go in terms of base uh, which is some deep slate some spruce planks and logs and some smooth stone tiles and then some dark prismarine for the walls i've been trying to haunt some wait what how do i get eggs oh from the the bee down there okay sorry bee well i've been trying to well get these things uh, the dark prismarine the way i've been getting them is you can haunt uh, lapis lazuli to get it it gives you the shards both of them and then you can also just grind coal in a millstone as you can see yeah and it gives you black dye which is what i've been using to, well to actually get some of these dark prismarines because they're very expensive now you can probably see by my very cluttered inventory that uh i need the uh, storage yes i <laughs> i do need storage i don't yet have any proper storage just random chests every <laughs> everywhere basically so I want to remodel this central area of the base and in order to do that I need to choose a mod to have storage well 
I don't know what mod I'm gonna go for actually so I'm gonna let you guys decide you guys can tell me from the list of the mods there's a couple of storage mods you can even use drawers but drawers are not that amazing uh, but if you take a look at the missions parts if we go to storage yep this is where we are we have the modular routers or the modular storage that we have here we also have the i forgot the name the refined storage yes or applied energistics so one of these two or we can even go simple simple with the rf tool storage yeah that's the one i was missing uh with which this one basically uses like four normal chests and then we just scan them and check their inventory but we could go either refined storage or apply the logistics storage so i'll let you guys decide let me know and then i'll be getting into any one of these in the next episode for today's episode we still need a couple things done well right now i think we're gonna play with some well chickens now i don't know how am i gonna like how can i pick them up is that a way of me picking them up uh i don't i think there is i think i had to use this on them or do i place it or do i put it in here no i i don't know how am i gonna get my chickens but i need to get them inside of these roosts so that they can start giving me eggs and then i can even breed them or i can already make some better chickens okay a bunch of logs and an egg will give us well a chicken uh, a very funny <laughs> looking chicken but a chicken a lock chick oh my god it looks horrible oh my god looks <laughs> looks like it's in pain uh and uh we can put it here and it will slowly give us uh something i don't know what this is gonna give me ah there we go it gave me well a log i mean it's 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 not bad uh but it could be better now look at all those chickens <laughs> well i'm i'm just i made a couple chickens i made the lock chicken i make a flint chicken and i'm trying to get cold chickens and i've got a cold chicken i made a nether quartz chicken and now i'm trying to get the lava chicken so then i can get a blaze rod chicken if i have a gold chicken 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 i don't even know and I got another quartz, so I'll replace this one because this one is a basic one. And I got a log one, so I'll replace this log one because they keep they keep getting better stats. So I'm just gonna get rid of the well of the bad ones, I should say, and keep the best ones because I mean I guess they are faster in laying out eggs and maybe quantity or something like that. Uh, hopefully they are. Because you can see that I want this guy to give me some coal. I already have this bad boy giving me some sand. Uh, which I don't actually have a normal way of getting sand right now. So I'll get it. I guess I'll use them. Uh, but yeah. I'm going to try and get a lava chicken. Hopefully I can get one soon. And then we'll see what we do. Oh wow. Okay. We got a lava chicken. <laughs> we got a lava chicken. Uh, now we kind of need either a gold chicken. Or... Yeah, the water one is also good. Yeah, but it's also going to take a while to get because it takes a bunch of things. But you guys can get the gist of it. It's basically just breeding uh, uh, all your chickens uh, in order to get better ones. And this guy gives me a lava egg, which I'm, well, I'm guessing is just to place down the egg and there's lava. I am guessing. I don't know if it has any utility. I don't think it is. Besides that, that gives me lava. Well, can I right click the egg here? No. It does give me lava though. But I can't right click it over there. It's okay. It, do it does give me lava without me actually needing to, well, worry about it per se. So yeah, I can just grab this thing and put it into a bucket and we're Gucci yeah okay we have lava generation some sand and ideally i would get to the point where i can get myself a netherite chicken it's gonna take a while i need a gold and a cobalt chicken 
and it's, as you can see it goes through well a lot of chickens right <laughs> so i have some breeding to do well another thing on my to-do list is actually this i need to get rid of all my levels every now and then so i don't die like i died a lot in the live stream yeah if i even zoom in here you can see yeah i died i died a lot of times a lot a lot a lot of times because i was getting spawn killed by a, a hoglin and i also need to get my hands on a couple buckets uh of liquid exp why well because i'm trying to get more passive mobs like other passive mobs and i don't yet like i haven't got lucky with them spawning so i guess i'm gonna have to force them spawning and how am i gonna do that well if you take a look here we can do this nutritious chicken feed we do have all of these resources which is a potato a beetroot a carrot a wheat and then basically any type of seed there we go and now that you have this amazing thing i'm just gonna grab my pokeball real quick because i believe i have it in here somewhere yeah there it is just gonna grab my pokeball so i'm gonna grab a chicken because I have a couple... Oh, don't toss it away. I have a couple inside here. I'm going to grab one and put it here. And then I'll feed it this. Birthday, <laughs> <laughs> this is so funny. Oh my god. And now we have a golden egg. Which if I use here... Boom animals look at that look at that we got tons and tons of animals i'm not sure if they'll keep spawning i'm guessing they won't keep spawning by the way uh but i wanted a sheep i wanted a cow uh i have a horse which is kind of a good horse actually that's kind of a good horse uh a donkey which is decently fast donkey as well okay we we kind of got lucky here uh but yeah these guys the world springs and the star bunkles yeah they're gonna get away from here oh they keep spawning oh oh that's gonna get annoying okay i need a solution for this okay i used a dread lamp here i i would like to believe that the dread lamp is gonna like not on animals okay never mind it's actually keeping it, it. i may just remove this dirt well <laughs> i just took the dirt out <laughs> i just took the dirt out and i'm gonna <laughs> keep waiting i gotta i gotta uh, expand that area and i gotta get i gotta get some storage so i can like dump some resources into there uh but i don't know <laughs> it got really crap real quick i did not expect it to work like that like that's insane also, one of the next natural steps for me is actually start to generate some power. Now, I'm using a very rudimentary, uh, very basic source of power, which is basically lava on these E generators from Mechanism to power my metallurgic infuser. And I'm just trying to get myself tons and tons of steel. Uh, why do I want steel? Because I need to make the steel casings so I can then start progressing through Mechanism. So if we take a look here. I want to make uh, the smell like these factories and all those things. Like I want to make them like the top tier ones. Uh, I want to get tons and tons of power, which you can also get from a reactor from here, which is pretty good. And there's a whole bunch of other things like the suit itself is also interesting. Uh, we also have some tools like the atomic disassembler, which we can do. Uh, we also have flamethrower. I never play with this. I like to play with this. And we also have the mecha tool, which you can upgrade with a various amount of things, which is also amazing. And now I'm just going to process through through this. I'm going to cook this steel. And we also need to look into, well, other ways of getting steel. Because there isn't many, I think, besides using the metallurgic infuser. At least not for, like, this steel. I can do... 
I think I can use immersive engineering as well to just immediately cook iron, but then I need a cold coke oven. So we might want to take a look at that as well. Yeah, I added in some windows so I can actually see if anything is getting backlogged or not, uh, which is really good. You know, in case there's uh, any sort of issue, I can look back there and see. So I may want to like make that look good. I don't know. And we're getting our first steel ingots. There we go. There we go. I wanted that steel so we can actually start making some more machines. The first one is going to be the enrichment chamber, which is actually going to give us access to better quality materials or usable materials. Like, for example, enriched coal uh, or carbon, I should say, redstone, diamond and obsidian and then even gold and tin. Why do we want this? Well, because this basically gives, uh, for example, I think it's 80 yeah i think it's like 80 here uh in terms of redstone power to the metallurgic infuser while a single redstone dust only gives 10 so it gives you eight times more which is insane and especially for me that i do not have a lot of redstone this is really a, a lifesaver believe me oh okay so i took a little bit of time to make a 10 10 10 chicken and i mean the only difference i notice is instead of one cent she gives me three so i mean that's good kind of okay now here's the recipe that i'm very very interested in now but there's like a small issue with this and that small issue is this is crushed netherrack and to get crushed netherrack i gotta crush well netherrack you know like normal yeah but my issue is the only way i seem to be able to get more netherrack is through this stonework generation but i have no clue how this works so i will have to check if this is a viable way of getting netherrack or should i just like go mining and get tons and tons of netherrack because i'm not sure but you know what guys i've been looking at all these chests and they're 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 really annoying me right now because i can't get quite of like a clear head of what to do uh and that's really really bugging me so i think i'm gonna have to end today's episode of, like here where i am right now where we're about to like keep expanding to this side and keep improving the overall design of the base and i'm probably that's what that's probably what i'm going to be doing between episodes just continue building over here the episode uh, on the on the walls and stuff and all those things but i need you guys to do me two favors first of all choose me one of the storage options refined storage or apply the logistics and the second favor is what do you think it's the best armor that i should be aiming at right now i have full diamond but this is not my is this is not cutting it and my sword is also not cutting it <laughs> even though i have looting six by the way but uh i kind of need to improve every single thing i have tools uh sword armor so if i gotta go tinkers you guys let me know what your best tinkers combinations that you guys have in terms of even upgrades and what those things you like you like to use and i'll try them out i'll try them out to see what fits best and i see which ones i like more so i can actually start getting better and better like, gear and stuff so i can actually tackle these dungeons because i can't properly do the the nether i can't even imagine when i get to the end <laughs> which hopefully i should go there soon but with all that said guys this is time to end the episode for today and if you guys liked the video don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't and see ya in the next one bye